Hello and welcome to the Back 40. My name is Mark. In this episode, we're going to talk about snowblowers, specifically snowblowers on a tractor. So I've got a John Deere 3046R tractor. It's about a 46 horsepower diesel tractor. It's got a cab on it, and you'll see here in the, in the clips. Um, and then I have a five foot snowblower on the front of it. How did I end up with a snowblower? I have to tell you that I spent a lot of time on the driveway with a plow on the front of an old Suburban. And our driveway is about a half a mile long, and it's gravel, and it goes across a field, and some of it is through woods. And there was a year, I think it was Valentine's Day a couple years ago, that scared me. And how it scared me was, I was plowing the driveway with the Suburban with a plow on it. And what, if you have done this before, you know that when you plow with a snow with a plow, you're pushing banks. You're making banks on the side of the driveway. And so the snow gets higher and higher and higher on the side of the driveway. And when you're plowing, you're always trying to push those banks back as far as you can because you never know how much snow you're going to get. Someday you might get a huge amount of snow. And if you're not pushing those banks as far back as you can, even when you only have six inches of snow, you might get stuck squeezing yourself inside that driveway. Well, that was the case a couple years ago. Um, we got a lot of snow and I had been and I pushed the banks back. I push them back. I push them back and it just wasn't enough because the banks were tall, probably three foot tall, and then one day the wind picked up, it got really cold, and it started snowing, and it was bringing snow across a 50 acre field and filling up my driveway full of snow. And with a three foot high bank, you can imagine, that means that that's gonna fill my driveway up three feet with snow and I'm never gonna get out of there. So while this storm is going on, I'm taking the Suburban and ripping up and down the driveway and it got to the point where I could not keep up. By the time I went down and came back, it had filled in so much snow that I couldn't go straight down and straight back anymore. So what I ended up doing was turning perpendicular to the driveway and pushing everything six, seven feet at a time on a half mile long driveway, trying to fight those banks back, fight them back, fight them back. And I was losing the battle and I started panicking, like we're gonna get snowed in. My daughter was over at a friend's house and she was not gonna be able to get back in. So I called her and made her come in. And it was that day that I said, no more plowing. Next winter, I will have a snowblower. And that's what I did. So I ended up buying a John Deere tractor, put a nice five foot snowblower on the front, which you can see here. And ever since that time, I have not panicked at all. Bring on as much snow as you can. Doesn't bother me. I'm not worried about pushing banks back anymore. I only have to go up and down the driveway one time. It gets me a 10 foot wide plowed area and I don't have to worry about banks because it's blowing the snow way off to the side. It's great. And the snowblower allows you to adjust the bottom of it so you can do a gravel driveway and once you get up on the cement, you can adjust it so it scrapes down hard on the cement to scrape all the snow off the cement. So on the gravel part, you raise it up about half an inch. You don't get any gravel. You get back up to the cement. You raise it back down or put it back down and uh, you're all set. So it's been the greatest thing. Okay, now that we got the gravel part of the driveway done, I'm up on the cement pad now and we're going to scrape the cement pad off, but I have to adjust the snowblower. So right now the snowblower is set so that it's, it's up high on the skid plates and the back blade inside the snowblower is about a half an inch off of the ground so that it's not scraping gravel down that half mile long driveway. It's just above it grabbing just the snow and leaving maybe a quarter to half an inch of snow uh, on the driveway which is fine. But now I'm up on the cement pad, I want it to be nice and scraped down clean. So I'm going to show you a little bit what I'm talking about here. So this is the spot that I'm talking about. You can see right here, that blade is in the back. And that blade is what gathers up all the snow, goes into the augers, goes into that big fan right there, and shoots it out the chute to wherever. So how you adjust that back blade is how much it's going to scrape. So right now you see it's maybe a half an inch off of the ground. 
And so what I want to do now is scrape the, the cement pad pretty good. I like to get it right down on the pad. So how you do that is you adjust the uh, arm and you tilt the, you tilt the whole blower back and it brings that blade down and scrapes. So what I'm going to be doing is this right here is the arm that you adjust. This right here and as that goes in and out you can see it pulls the whole blower like this. And what we're going to actually do now is pull it backwards because then that's going to set the blade down further onto the cement. So I'll do that in a second. Okay, now I got that adjusted. Now I want to show you what happened to the blade here. It's got it right down tight. You can see now, right there, that blade is right down tight, right down on the cement. And so that's going to scrape the cement now. And that's going to make a, a really nice, clean cement pad up here.
It is one of the best investments you will ever make. You will be so happy you did it. Of course, it doesn't hurt that my tractor has a cab on it, so it's heated in there, so I can come out in the shop, turn the tractor on, let it warm up for five minutes, get inside where it's nice and warm, can play some music if I want, and uh, blow snow for about 45 minutes. It takes 45 minutes. Most of the time is spent up on the cement pad, which is only 35 feet by 70 feet, but because of the angles, it takes a long time of going forward and backward and forward and backward. Uh, the long part of the driveway is easy because you just set the crews and just go. So you can see a snowblower is just a great investment. I'm so glad I made it. I hope you learned something from this video, either on adjusting your own snowblower or if you're thinking about maybe getting a snowblower, I would highly, highly encourage you to do so. Uh, maybe you could have your wife watch this video and uh, tell her about the panic that I went through. And uh, maybe that would encourage her to allow you to write the check for a snowblower. Until next time.